Is it peripheral neuropathy or sciatica? Pain shooting down one leg that is worse by walking comes from lumbar stenosis, disc herniation, or lumbar radiculopathy. Many pathologists can mimic the symptoms of lumbar radiculopathy, resulting in similar presentations, and the physician should consider an alternative diagnosis when the patient presents with a pain radiating to the lower extremity. The most common cause of sciatica is a disc herniation, but there are other causes that may cause sciatica-type symptoms. These mimickers or impersonators of lumbar radiculopathy usually have a different onset and pattern of symptoms. The physician needs to know what other conditions that mimic disc herniation. Performing a careful history and physical examination is important. It is the first step in distinguishing cytica impersonators from disc herniation. One of these conditions that can mimic lumbar radiculopathy is peripheral neuropathy. Patients who are reporting these symptoms falsely attribute their symptoms to spinal disc herniation. Demyelination of the large myelinated nerves that are responsible for proprioception, vibration, and touch will lead to sensation of pins and needles in the lower extremity bilaterally in a stocking distribution. The patient may think they may have spinal disc herniation and lumbar radiculopathy. Peripheral neuropathy and lumbar stenosis may coexist together. EMG will help you to differentiate between peripheral neuropathy and lumbar stenosis. Burning pain in both feet at night is probably a peripheral neuropathy and it is not a lumbar stenosis. Sensory testing is important. The aim of the sensory testing is to identify if there is a dermatomal pattern of sensory distribution which will suggest a spinal root problem or a possible glove and stocking distribution which will suggest a peripheral neuropathy. Although several causes of peripheral neuropathy exist, diabetes is the most common cause. How common is neuropathy? Many people older than 65 have some neuropathy. Alcoholics and people with metabolic syndrome can be affected. Metabolic syndrome is obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. There are many types of neuropathy, maybe over 100 types. Peripheral neuropathy affects about 70% of patients with diabetes. Distal sensory peripheral neuropathy is present in about 80% of the patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy occurs as a result of a dysfunction or damage to the nerves outside the brain and the spinal cord. So let us understand this process together. The nervous system is composed of peripheral nervous system, central nervous system, and the brain. The brain and the spinal cord, the central nervous system, sends information to the body through the peripheral nerves. The peripheral nerves send sensory information to the central nervous system and to the brain. There are five lumbar spinal nerves. Each spinal nerve arises from the spinal cord by two roots. The ventral root is motor and the dorsal root is sensory. The two roots unite together in the intervertebral foramen to form the spinal nerve. And then the spinal nerve divides into a ventral ramus and a dorsal ramus. You remember the difference between sensory and motor nerves by remembering the word same. Sensory is efferent, is moving towards the brain. Motor is efferent, moving away from the brain 
to the muscles, afferent and efferent. Causes of peripheral neuropathy, about 30% are idiopathic, but it can occur due to trauma, infection, metabolic problems, diabetes is a major cause, malnutrition, alcoholism, toxins like lead poisoning, or hereditary like CMT. Peripheral neuropathy can cause pain and weakness and numbness, especially in the hands and feet. The pain can be described as gradual onset of tingling and burning. It may be sharp, stabbing, and throbbing pain that can spread upwards into the legs and the arms. There can be pins and needles with lack of coordination, muscle weakness, falling with cramps and spasms. The patient has the feeling of wearing gloves or socks when they are not. The peripheral neuropathy can affect one nerve or multiple nerves, and it's called polyneuropathy. Symptoms can improve if the cause of neuropathy is treatable. Some medications can reduce the pain, like gabapentin. The motor and sensory nerves can be tested. Nerve conduction studies measure the size of the response and how quickly and fast the nerve carries the signals. The electrical activity of the muscle is recorded. The treatment, gabapentin, lyrica, lidocaine patches, and antidepressant.